بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دیس از اکرا حفیظ اینڈ یو آر واچنگ دیسی ٹی وی یو ایس ایل سیون لک ایٹ دا نیوز یو ایس ڈپارٹمنٹ آف جسٹس اناؤنس تھری پیپل چارج اوور الیج اٹیمپ ٹو اسیسنیٹ جرنلسٹ دا ڈیفینڈنٹس ہیو ٹائز ٹو اے ران اینڈ اے پارٹ آف این ایسٹرن یورپین کرمنل آرگنائزیشن But looking at the threat from Iran more broadly, we've seen the Iranian regime become more aggressive and more brazen across vectors. In just the past couple of years, actors associated with Iran have launched a ransomware attack against a children's hospital in New England, attempted to assassinate the former U.S. National Security Advisor on U.S. soil, and now plotted to silence a U.S. citizen a journalist who publicized the Iranian government's human rights abuses right smack in the middle of New York City. If that doesn't show how serious the threat from Iran is to Americans right here in America, I don't know what is. Over the past few years, Iranian... Pentagon Deputy Spokesperson Sabrina Singh holds a briefing a day after President Joe Biden's announcement that the United States will supply Ukraine with 31 advanced M1 Abrams tanks worth $400 million to help Kyiv in its war against Russia. Right now, we're trying to procure new tanks through the USAI, but again, we're working through those details right now, so I don't have any additional updates on that. So new tanks implies building from scratch, taking pieces together, pulling, that's not the way the Army's done it for the last 20 years. Well, it's so check into that. Well, it would, it would entail working with industry and, right. and, and contracting those out, and part of that is acquiring new tanks, so that, that's, that's where the process Uh, that is our goal in the process. In terms of um, final delivery, again, right. we'll keep you updated on that, but that is the goal of what we announced. New versus, new meaning upgraded model to the older model, the A1 models. That's all, when, if you can pull that string and get some clarity yeah. on that, that would be helpful. Okay. And on the training question, can you check also, is there going to be like uh, simulation in Europe? You're going to fly simulators over there, or is there going to be like distributed junior diplomats uh, uh, this important event. I would like first and foremost to uh, thank the Ukrainian uh, and Lithuanian students uh, across campuses, but mainly in Natalin, but also across campuses that have organized this day, and especially for having President Jamiyat Ulma Islam Molana Fazlur Rahman calls on Prime Minister Mohammad Shebaz Shrif. Federal Minister for Finance and Revenue Mr. Ishaq Dar is also present. Federal Finance Minister Ishaq Dar said that Imran Niazi once again tried to mislead the people. They know very well the current state of Pakistan's economy. Imran Niazi is responsible for it. Our responsibility for this disaster falls on Imran Niazi and his government. A good economy was entrusted to you. If you had worked on it, today Pakistan would not have reached the place where you have built it. We decided to sacrifice our politics for the state. We left the GDP growth at 6.1, which you took to negative. The economy we got was $244 billion in the first year. And we took it to $356 billion in five years. Imran Niazi sahab ne phir ek aur jhoot ka round lagaya. Aur logon ko aur awam ko gumra karne ki koishish ki. In ko achhi tarah pata hai ke aaj Pakistan ki joh maishat ka haal hai. Uske Imran Niazi sahab zimadar hai. Is tabai ki tamam tar zimadari. عمران نیازی کی حکومت اور عمران نیازی پر آتی ہے انہوں نے مختلف فگرز کوٹ کیے پرانے آدی ہیں جھوٹ بولنے کے میرا تو انیس سو ترانوے سے ان کا اتنا بڑا ڈاکومنٹڈ ہے اخباروں میں کہ جھوٹ بولنے کے کتنے ماہر ہیں لاہور چیمبر جب میں صدر تھا 
تو مختلف فگر جو ہیں وہ غلط انہوں نے کوٹ کیے The European Union has agreed to stricter visa requirements for citizens of the countries including Pakistan that have been refusing to take back their illegal immigrants living in Europe. Sweden's Migration Minister Maria Malmar Stenegaard told reporters on Thursday that the European bloc's Interior Minister have agreed that the action in place from 2020 must be fully implemented to ensure that asylum increase the number of migrants sent back to their countries of origin after unsuccessful applications. Tehran's police chief said the attacker did it for personal reason. Azerbaijan's foreign minister spokesman Axan Haizada told local media that Iran bears all responsibility for the attack. He said that the recent anti-Azerbaijani campaign in the Iranian media has encouraged the attack. Condemnation of Pakistani Prime Minister for the killing of Palestinians, he has also reiterated Islamabad's principle stand for a two-state solution to the conflict. According to the Palestinian Ministry of Health, the Israeli army killed nine Palestinians and wounded 20 during a raid on the Janin refugee camp on Thursday. Four of the injured are in critical condition. By Jerusalem, seven Israelis killed in an attack on a Jewish synagogue. After the attack, there was a fear of further increase in violence between Palestine and Israel. The attack came a day after Israel's deadliest attack in the West Bank in years, in which nine Palestinians were killed. The Palestinian Ministry of Health said that the Israeli army killed nine Palestinians and wounded 20 during a raid on the Jenin refugee camp on Thursday. The condition of four of the injured is critical. That's all for now. For more updates, keep watching Desi TV USA or visit our website desitvusa.com.